What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. All right, folks. Guess who it is? Mr. Uh, well, you see the picture. Mr. S. Don Warmack back in the building. Visit all the sites as you can see. And today I'm on a 4th of July special here. Today's 4th of July. This podcast, you don't date it. I have a special topic to talk about. And today's topic is going to be in 4, 3, 2, 1. There we go. Today's topic is going to be 4th of July, something about America. And it's going to be a topic that uh, was discussed in a couple of my Facebook groups. Now, early this morning, like when I when I wake up, you know, on an average, a typical average day for me is I, I, after I go, after I wake up is I do all the 3S program, I do my lunch, whatever. What I do is I go to the computer and I check my emails that you guys send me and I try to answer them back. And I check my, I check all my videos, make sure they're still up or whatever. I check, and I check uh, my Facebook, I check my comments, try to answer them. To, but I went to the groups and today they were talking about, uh, there were two two questions. It was, uh, should black, should do black people celebrate the 4th of July? That was one question. And the other question is, do black people uh feel that they're Americans or do they love Americans something to that effect or it's two questions and with, and uh, I was answering I, I see at first I didn't answer what it is I saw a lot of answers and like an FYI I'm gonna say this off the bat when you get in these Facebook groups please don't give us information that it's fucking obvious to everybody I mean people get on these Facebook groups and because they've heard news it's something that they just heard they make it look like that nobody knows this information, like it was just secretly given to them. I don't know how many people have to tell me about the Illuminati, the NWO, or the fact that America is a corporation. I don't think these people understand it. A lot of people know this and quit treating people like they're stupid and ignorant. Because all you come off as stupid and ignorant, and I just don't want to deal with people like that. But I want to deal with people who are willing to build. Now back to lecture at hand. We were talking about should black people celebrate 4th of July and should whatever. No, I know when slavery did, and this one lady hit him off with a great ass comment about the Fourteenth Amendment and why we should. But everybody, would, then, you, then you got, and here's what kills me: you got these people, these folks on Facebook. They want to whine and cry and use an excuse. Well, we're Americans, and slavery was in this and that, and how we were, we we don't even belong to this land, this and that. And I'm like, look, if you guys really hate this place, and I did a video about this before, and I'm doing it again because it's the Fourth of July. If there's, there's. If you go to any airport in America, every hour there's planes leaving from wherever you're from to Africa. I would, and I repeat, I would, I would never stay in a place that I've hate. A lot of you have worked. A lot of you are in are my age, in, in between twenty and forty. Not that I'm twenty, in between your twenties and forties. You should have a amount set up if you didn't like this place. Where you have a stash fund, where you can go to Ghana or maybe Gabon or whatever country or Cameroon, there were a lot of these countries that were offering Black American citizenship and land. Now a lot of you and, and, and a lot of you start making excuses to me, and like I said, I don't I don't pay attention when I start seeing somebody give an excuse. That's that's I don't even pay attention to them because I know they're talking shit. But like I said, if you want, if you didn't like the land you live in now, leave. And this one lady said, well, there's a high, I, I said, uh, Mugabe down in Zimbabwe. He fits you, uh, prejudice views because he just took a lot of white farmers' lands from him. Is he any better than the white folks that did it to us? No. But if you like that, go to Zimbabwe. Then I heard, well, well Zimbabwe has one of the highest HIV. Well, well, well you're, look, you're looking for excuses. Then don't cry about it. Your tan hides ain't leaving America. You know why? Because right now, in this 90 degree up to 100 or something degree weather, you know you can sit your black asses in front of air conditioning rather than deal with all the flies flying around your heads in Nairobi right now. So, like I said, you, you just want something to bitch and whine and cry. You wonder why you don't get taken serious. Like I said, I I, I, I have to, and, and a couple, couple big name people I've talked to, and I don't drop names. Everybody knows I'm a name dropper, but I, I talk to them. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start backing away from a lot of stuff because 
I'm, they said, I'm not. It's not diluting the brand. It's just that I'm just. I'm just tired of dealing with idiots. So sometimes, and I'm. I'm if I can see something a, a, a respectful, peaceful, and intelligent conversation with critical thinking, I will jump on. Or the facts that I bring. But what kills me is, and here, here's another thing. For the Fourth of July, these same black conscious, red, red, green, black, hotep yelling people will be at your cookout eating you, eating your ribs. Drinking your natural light and and taking take home trays while all of a sudden you hate America. But you ain't, hey, if you hate America, you'll be eating that food, would you? And y'all be going to work right now. So it's just to me, it's just hypocritical. Yes, celebrate. Look, I celebrate the Fourth of July. Number one, number two. I know America is not perfect, but you got to play the cards you're dealt. And either in all this crying and whining isn't going to change the fact because none of you guys are doing anything but crying and whining. If you want to change your life. Leave, and then what? Like I said, if you don't want to go after, go to Haiti, go to Jamaica, or the DR. Uh, one, oh, you guys do not want to, like some people. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna say this. Some people don't want solutions. Point blank, they want to bitch cry and whine because that's how they get, make their living. And if they're miserable, they're happy because you're miserable. So that's just my saying. Celebrate the celebrate the fourth. There's no reason why you shouldn't. So. Have a good one and have a fourth. Of, have a safe and happy Fourth of July. To the ones that hate America, there's planes leaving every hour, even today. All right, peace.